What's going on everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Now before we hop into the commentary, just want to let you guys know really quickly before we get into everything. I do this every once in a while in some of my other videos and for people who watch me a lot, you're probably already used to it. <laughs> but I do want to just let you guys know if you want to chat with me or stay up to date with the channel or anything like that, there's two ways to do so. You can follow me over on Twitter or on my Discord channel. Both those links are down in the description. And also if you want to catch me live streaming some video games, which I try to do every single day besides Mondays. Some days I have to skip sometimes, but I try to stay to a consistent schedule. But if you guys want to check those out, you can follow that in the link below as well. But today we have to be very serious when it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare because the developers of this video game have implemented something that is so broken and so insanely stupid that I still to this day can't believe that one, they put this into the game without testing, and two, it still has not been fixed. Now I want to make something clear, I love the Val, and to be honest with you, I don't think the Val is a very overpowered weapon. In the beginning I really did think it was, but I think it just fits my playstyle so perfectly that I just, I really love it. I know tons of other very skilled players who just simply don't like the gun because it doesn't really get too long out there, long range is a little rough, it's mostly close to medium range. It's a very run and gunny type of weapon and I guess that's why I tend to really enjoy it. You know, I like playing ARs, but over the recent years I've kind of adapted to the SMG side because ARs just haven't really felt too amazing. The last time I really mained ARs was in Infinite Warfare because in Infinite Warfare I can run and gun a lot with an NV4 or a K-Bar. I could just dash through hallways, completely beam people. I could use it like an SMG. But in other Call of Duty games that came after Infinite Warfare, I just kind of really went back to the SMG side. ARs are meant for medium to long range, and they're always going to be like that. ARs are mostly meant for medium to long range, and every once in a while they add one that's meant for close quarters, but they're not usually that good, I guess I should say. So when you use an AR, you don't really run and gun. You usually set up in positions, cover objectives, and play like an AR player. That's just the best way to run around with it. And in Modern Warfare, this, the perfect example is the M4 is basically the only rifle to use. There's no variety when it comes to running and gunning in this title. You can use other things like the, uh, the Grawl, the Ram. It's a lot of other good rifles. The AN or even the new A the AK in general is a good rifle. It's a lot of good ones. But they're not really competitive when you want to run and gun and get pushy in the match that you're playing. The only one that's really good at, you know, if you completely attach ADS attachments onto it, like no stock and stippled grip and a good stock to make sure your ADS is good. The only rifle that's actually useful after doing all of that is the M4. If you do that for any other rifle, it basically becomes very unmanageable when it comes to the recoil and then useless when it comes to medium to long range and it's only good when it's close range. But the M4, even when you put on so many ADS attachments, overall you could still beam someone across the map and at the same time you could still outgun an SMG close range. But for the first time, they added another rifle that actually feels clean when you want to be running gunny and that is the Val. It feels great, it feels smooth. And it's understandable now to me that it's not meant for everybody. So overall, it's not really that overpowered of a weapon. But of course, the developers added an attachment onto this gun. That, of course, is going to probably get the whole thing nerfed and make it a useless gun overall. I guarantee they're going to nerf the 30-rounder and the regular 20-rounder. They're just going to nerf the whole gun when they go ahead and nerf the 10-round mag for this weapon. For those who don't know, I, I don't know how you wouldn't know. You probably died from it now if you play a lot of Modern Warfare. But the 10-round mag, when it comes to the Val, can shoot through all surfaces. You could stand on one spawn, and the other team could be on the complete opposite side of the map in the other spawn, and you could shoot through every wall, building, any surface. It could be like five buildings between you and the enemy, and your bullets will go through each and every one, and pretty much deal the same damage, like it was no penetration at all. It's absolutely absurd. And it's something that's so game-breaking that I'm just getting annoyed now. If you play Search and Destroy, you will run into full lobbies of people using this attachment with snapshot grenades, being obnoxious, and beaming you through walls, beaming you off spawn. It's not enjoyable. And, uh, you know, I can understand why some people like to use overpowered weapons when they first implemented into the game. Like the new sniper rifle, even though it's so annoying, everybody's using it. It's very overpowered. I understand why people are using it. You know, it's going to get nerfed in the future. It's so, you know, might as well take advantage of it now. It's very powerful. The ADS is extremely fast. It's a great weapon to use when it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But at the end of the day, it's not broken. You know what I'm saying here? The 10-round mag is broken. It's an exploit. You know, it honestly, it should be considered a ban if people use it. But you can't do that because obviously it's Infinity Ward's fault. They're the ones who put it in the game. 
Nobody downloaded cheat software to make this 10-round mag, you know, beam people across the map. No, Infinity Ward put this in the video game. If you use it, it's no possible way of getting banned. If you get banned, Infinity Ward is just brain dead for doing such a thing to a player because it's their fault for putting it in the game. But that's an exploit, being able to shoot through every surface. And a gun like the sniper rifle is not an exploit. It's just a very overpowered weapon. You know, you, you can run around, you can gun, you can do you know, overpowered stuff at the end of the day. You're technically, quote-unquote, not cheating. You know, you still have to see the enemy, you still have to be in a one-in-one -one engagement, or 1v2, 1v2, who knows what the engagement is. At the end of the day, you have to be able to see the enemy in front of you, and fight them. And whoever has the better gun skill will win the gunfight. And at the moment, the sniper rifle is pretty much completely OP, so they'll win 99% of the time. <laughs> but at the end of the day not cheating so it's completely understandable but the fact that this is being run in so many lobbies i mean i'm seeing five six stacks just straight running 10 rounders of the val and just stomping out lobbies because they're able to just spawn in and beam through every surface they don't even have to move from their spawn they could chuck a snapshot grenade halfway across the map see if they spot someone and then beam them across the map same damage same range it's just ridiculously broken and the worst part about the whole thing, now, I, they might go ahead and nerf this by the time I put this video up, so... <laughs> so don't mark my words completely, but currently, it's basically a week, and nothing has changed. So if they do, by any means, update it, that's great, but currently it's been a week, and they have not fixed this issue whatsoever. This is ridiculous. It should have not gone this long. If anything, they should have just taken the 10-round mag out of the game in general and worked on it if they needed extra time. There's no reason this should still be in this game. It's the worst exploit I have ever seen in this video game right here. Maybe even the worst glitch, the worst bug. It's just insane. You could shoot someone from anywhere on the map. Infinity Ward has basically just given you cheats. They have basically just bought you cheats and given it to you for free and said, here, run around and you could just wall hack all day long. That's what they basically did. And it's taking a week for them to even acknowledge. I don't even think they acknowledged it. I have not heard a word from any developer about this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe send me a tweet or something of what they said. But I have not seen anything mentioned about the 10 round mag on the Val. This is bad, guys. This is really bad. It needs to be fixed pronto and the worst of it all is that i know they're going to take away my baby for once i'm actually having fun playing call of duty modern warfare i have a weapon that can actually you know be decent for me it's fun as a silencer so i could be aggressive i could push i could flank if i want it's decent at even long range it's not amazing at long range but the more you use the weapon the more you learn the recoil pattern the better you get at long range and then it's already great at close to medium range overall it's, it's really my favorite weapon but I guarantee that when they go in to nerf the 10-round mag, they're going to take the whole gun down with it. They're probably not even going to nerf the 10-round mag. They're probably going to nerf damage or some stupid crap and allow people to still beam people across the map. I guarantee they'll do something stupid like that. But yeah, if you're currently thinking about getting Mono Warfare or if you're thinking about reinstalling Mono Warfare, even coming back to Mono Warfare, don't do it right now. It's not worth even the slightest bit of your time. Every lobby is littered with the same sniper and the same rifle. Literally, it's the same meta you'll see in every single game. No variety. Nothing. It's really annoying. And it's sad because we were starting to get to a point where we were seeing variety. For the longest time, we were only seeing MP5s and M4s every single lobby. And I've been hopping on recently before this new season drop, and I've noticed that people are messing around with other weapons. New rifles, new SMGs, new even new shotguns. Nobody's even using the 725 anymore. It's Origins, VLKs. There's tons of different weapons being used right now. But then this new season released, and now it's straight back to meta. Straight back to meta. Everybody's rocking 10 round vowels and the new sniper rifle. That is it. I'm getting blooped or I'm getting wall banged. And it's just not a fun atmosphere right now. There's absolutely, like I said, it's no reason to get back on. You're literally either going to get wall banged across the map or you're going to lose to a sniper rifle in every gunfight. You can use an SMG and see that sniper rifle up close and still lose to a gunfight. It's like no flinch, no recoil. It has an insane ADS speed and no barrels affect the ADS speed. You could use the longest barrel with all these attachments on it to slow it down and it'll still be the same ADS. The gun's broken right now. Literally, the gun's broken and that's all you see in the game currently. 
it oh my god infinity ward you would think that they'll be able to make a normal season out of this which really it was so close to being probably the best season in the game like i said i love the val the val itself is great the new sniper rifle it's unique it actually adds another marksman rifle that's actually useful at first it was only the car 98 that was good in the marksman rifles but now it's actually something else that's decent but right now way too overpowered it needs to be toned down a bit the game is broken at the moment it's in a very bad state but guys, I'm going to leave the commentary off there. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. And by all means, if you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy what you heard, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, there's two ways to do so. Twitter and Discord. Both those links are down in the description. And if you want to catch me live stream some video games, I do that over on Twitch. Link to that is in the description as well. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.